Dude, do you see my boobs? Or one boob? Look at that. What in the fuck? Hello, Romas. This is Aromi here. Welcome to Fire Emblem Three Houses. I know I am very behind on uploading this game. It's just been really hectic, but I'm really excited to be playing Fire Emblem Three Houses. It's been really tough for me because I've been really stubborn. I didn't want to buy the, just the basic copy. I wanted the Warfare Edition, and I finally got. Uh, okay, no, stop it. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's copyright. But anyway, I finally have it, and I can finally play the game. So I haven't really played much Fire Emblem games, so this is technically going to be, um... Excuse me. Hello? But this is officially going to be my first Fire Emblem game, which I'm going to hopefully play through the end. Well, we're going to start new game for beginning and intermediate players or hard for experienced players. Never played the game before, so I'm going to go with normal. Um, <laughs> this is the part where Tyler and I were uh, talking about. Um, you can either be a casual player where like your teammates or whatever that do die during battle will get... that They won't be permanently gone. They'll, they'll come back. Or the classic version where fallen units are lost forever. Every decision counts. So I told Tyler, I really kind of want to just stick with the classic just because I've never played the game before and I feel like this would be more of an impactful story um, I'm probably gonna hate myself because I might lose people that I really love and care about but hopefully this will make it um, make me think more about my decisions okay story time gonna be quiet kind of That's a lot of people, to be honest. Huh? Now, is this five years prior or five years after? Five years prior. Hello? Where are you? How the fire just vanished like that? I know it's rainy, but... <laughs> oh! She's so pretty! She's just standing there too. I love how everyone gave me space to fight. Okay, every time it does that scene with their feet, I'm not down for it because I feel like they're breaking their foot or something, like how in anime or movies. You know what this reminds his weapon reminds me of? That one weapon in um Tokyo Ghoul. Did you guys watch that? Tell me, Nemesis, do you recall the Red Canyon? You'll die! Die! Oh die! Okay. You took everything that I loved! Okay. Killed him. He's gone now, mother. That was her weapon. Oh damn. What? What is his troops gonna do now? 
Are they like instantly just forced to her territory? I'm so confused. Wake up. Good morning, or good evening, or whatever time it is. Oh, oh weird. Ew, it's so weird she's looking what at us. Brought you here? Ew, it's so weird. I don't like this. <laughs> it's so weird. She's actually like physically looking at us and like talking to us. I'm not used to that. I wonder how you got in here. Oh, wait, do you I talk or do you have. You got okay. In here. Thank God. It is most rude to interrupt a moment of repose. <sighs> Very rude indeed. What the fuck are you getting that mad at me for? I'm, it's not my fault my character decided to come in here. Now come to me. I wish to have a look at you. No, I'm good. I'm gonna stay here. Oh, oh, oh. I can select my form. I'm gonna choose this pretty girl. What if I wanted to date my other self? That was always a thing that I was upset about because he's really handsome and she's very gorgeous. What do you want to date your other self? But okay, here we go. Yep, that's my form. Hmm, I have not seen the likes of you before. Who are you anyway? Well, I can't choose my own name. I'm instantly. I'm a ghost, I'm a demon, I'm a mortal. What the fuck would I say I'm a demon? I'm not a ghost, I'm a mortal. <laughs> I see. Then you must have a name of sorts. Go on. Okay, well... Wait! I can change my name? Wait, I thought I couldn't! Wait... <laughs> I could've sworn I couldn't change my name. Well, I'm not Byleth. Sorry. I would like to play as myself. Well, name myself. I guess maybe the what I confused myself with was um, the customization. Like, I couldn't customize myself? I don't know. Um... Yep, there we go. Michiko. That's me. Huh. I shall not ever grow accustomed to the sound of human names. I'm guessing you're not human then. You must possess a day of birth as well. Beneath which moon and on what day were you born to this world? Does it do something? Well, the great tree moon. Oh, that's interesting. Pegasus moon is Tyler. Okay, let's let's go down the month. I know this is overkill, but whatever. I want to know. January Guardian moon, February Pegasus moon, March Moon moon, April Great Tree moon, May Har Harp String moon. <laughs> this is where I'm starting to lose all my months. June Garland moon, July Bleasy moon, August Verdant Rain moon, September Horsebow moon, October Wyvern moon. November Red Wolf Moon. Man, my dad has the coolest moon. And then December is Ethereal Moon. Which is beautiful. Okay, well. I'm the Great Tree Moon. Birthday's on April 18th. Which is a day after Hubert's wow! birthday. <laughs> yep. Well, wonders never cease. It seems we share our day of birth. How strange. Wait, are you serious? Nuh-uh, she's lying. I don't believe. That was on the calendar. It all feels so... familiar. I think it may be time for... yet another nap. Oh, okay. I guess... <sighs> good night. I'll wake you up later? It is almost time to... begin. How can you sleep like that? <laughs> Your, her hand's gonna go numb. Okay. Hey, time to wake up. Gerald? No, I don't want to wake up. Were you having that dream again? Who are you? Are you my dad? I, I need my dad. I was dreaming about a war. I was dreaming about a young girl. Do these choices matter? <laughs> Is this like a visual novel where the choices actually matter? Um, I was dreaming about a young girl? Well, technically, yeah, the young girl stuck out more to me than the war. You've described her to me before. I don't think I've ever met anyone like that. In any case, just put that out of your mind for now. The battlefield is no place for idle thoughts. Dude, do you see my boobs? Or one boob? Look at that. What in the fuck? Is that armor? Or is like, is that armor over my boob? Because if my boobs are huge, that is insane. And I'll never have that in real life. 
Risking your life is part of the job for mercenaries like us. Letting your mind wander is a sure way to get yourself killed. Oh, my mind already wandered to my character's boobs, so I would instantly die. Okay, time to get moving. Our next job is in the kingdom. Okay. I told you before, it's far from here, so we'll need to leave at dawn. Um, of course. All right, of course, of course. Hmm? Oh, good grief. Everyone is already waiting for us outside. Did you just have a heart up? Are you a dateable character? <laughs> Gerald, sir, sorry to barge in, but your presence is needed. What happened if I said, uh, the other choice? The other choice seems like I'm not down for it, but I am a leader myself, right? So I have to What's be happened? ready for everything. Please forgive our <gasps> intrusion. We wouldn't bother you with a situation not dire. Dimitri. Oh, I love you so much, Dimitri. <laughs> what do a bunch of kids like you want at this hour? We're being pursued by a group of bandits. I can only hope that you will be so kind as to lend your support. You know what I found so funny? Um, ever since like we finished playing Taylor Tales, there was a Dimitri in that route, and now I have a new Dimitri to fall in love with. Bandits? Here? It's true. They attacked us while we were at rest in our camp. She's so pretty. We've been separated from our Blah. companions and we're outnumbered. They're after our lives. Not to mention our gold. He's so cute. I love his voice. I'm impressed you're staying so calm considering the situation. I... Wait. That uniform. Bandit spotted just outside the village. Damn. There were a lot of them. Okay, no ice person. Even though he has ice down here. I guess they followed you all the way here. We can't abandon this village now. They followed you, sir? You're a horrible ninja. Come on, let's move. Hope you're ready. Oh, he has a little pigtail in the back of his hair. It's cute. Look at my abs. So flat. Goals. <laughs> a skirmish at dawn. Prologue. An inevitable encounter. Okay. Uh, okay, combat now. I had to really, really focus on this part. Okay. Let's take care of those thieves before they overrun the village. Okay. Take down the enemies in front first. That okay. should take the wind out of their sails. All right. Okay. Um, I don't like Claude being up there by myself. I will prevail. Actually. Oh, she's gonna lose health. I didn't even see if Claude lost Stay focused. health. Stay focused. Okay, we're all gonna kind of. Lose. I'll cut through. Fuck it. With this mindset, my people are gonna die. <laughs> yeah, you know, Over fuck already. it. <laughs> I had to really, really focus on this part. Gotta support my boy. You can talk? Talk to who? What? Thank you. We are in your debt. It wouldn't do for us to fall in a place like this. Uh, you're Please, lend us your strength. Let's work together to drive out these thieves. Okay. Ooh! Oh, damn! Why are there mercenaries this guy's the character? Guess we'll have to deal with them too. I was gonna say, is he ever gonna show up? Like, come on. Attack. Dude, he, he come real close for me. Alright, what if our character dies? Game over, right? New map. What the? Aren't you Gerald the Blade Breaker? He just went straight through. What's a renowned mercenary like you doing here? I'm the one who should be complaining. I'm caught up in the mess you started. Ooh, let me see. Oof. Okay, that wasn't that much. Okay, ran away. Okay. Hey! You with the blank stare! Out of my way! No, bitch. I'm coming through. Hey, level up. I'm a commoner. Another step forward. Uh, receive an iron axe. Nice. Oh, that's it? I thought I had to fight the other people. Hey, leave my edgelet girl alone. I know that's not her name. <laughs> it's Elder Guard. Edelgard? I don't know how to pronounce. What the fuck just happened to me? Did he just attack me from the back? What the hell? Am I dead? 
Ashley, what are you accomplishing with that little stunt? It's like you're trying to get me killed, you fool. Wait, you're in me? <sighs> well, it's fine. After all, if you don't know the value of your own life, you're not going to protect it very well, are you? Of course not. <laughs> well then, I guess it's up to me to guide you from now on, right? I heard this game similar to you Persona. You can call me Sothis. So you're but Morgana? I'm also known as the beginning. <laughs> so you're Morgana to me in this universe. Hmm. Don't make me sleep all the time. I'm not Sothis. down. Sothis. Yes, that is it. My name is Sothis. Sothis. Okay, I'm probably not going to remember that, but okay. And I am also called the beginning. But this music? Who once called me that? Are you here in the back? Ground. You know what that reminds me of? Scooby Doo Spooky Island when they're under that cave area when they're all dancing. Hopefully, I can find a clip. Oh my god, that's what it reminds me of every time I'm listening to this. That's all I can remember. <laughs> So, this? What are you talking about? So, this? That's your name? That's an interesting name. I was not able to recall my name until just now. You're Morgana. And just like that, it came to me. How odd. That look upon your face. Did you think me a child? A mere child who forgot her own name? I didn't think you were a child. Phooey! That child just saved your life. And what does that make you? Phooey! I never heard of that in a, like, forever. I'm less than a child? I'm no child. I'm not a child. <laughs> <laughs> Such arrogance. You look the part, but aren't you truly an adult? Uh, probably not. You threw yourself before an axe to save just one young girl. Yeah? Yet. All is well, as I have stalled the flow of time for now. You would have died had I not intervened. Thank you? You stopped time. Thank you. I mean, she's pretty... Uh, technically speaking, if I was in this girl's position, I would already know this girl's some powerful, like, person. So, it wouldn't even surprise me. She knows how to stop time. So, thank you. There now. Is gratitude so much to ask? I did deem you worth saving, after all. Though it is only momentary, time has stopped. However did I manage that? Your powers are awakening. Um... What now? What will happen when time resumes? What now? When time begins again, the axe will tear into your flesh and you will surely meet your end. Ooh. Okay. <gasps> How rude of you to drag me into this! What?! How rude of you to be inside of me?! Now what to do? Turn back the hands of time, keep time frozen until I'm safe, I'll just stay here and wait to die! <laughs> um... Well, keeping time frozen until I'm safe, I don't think that's logical. Because either way, I'm probably going to die. So turn back the hands of time. Of course. I must turn back the hands of time. Oh. Or you already yes, know how to do it. Okay. I do believe it can be done. You really are quite troublesome. But I just gave you help. I cannot wind back time too far, but all is well. You are aware of what's to come, which means you can protect yourself this time. Now go! Ooh, yes, pretty. you who bears the flames within. Drift through the flow of time to find the answers that you seek. Okay. Well, why are you in me? Is what I want to seek out. It's like, that's so raven, except not really. <laughs> she, she foresaw something in the future. This, I'm just seeing something... What did I just do? Hey, over here! Flip him over. Hey, Claude and Dimitri. As they just smile at me, I saved you. Hey, did you just? What? We don't have time to talk. The Knights of Seros are here. We'll cut you down for terrorizing our students. I think you're a little behind. Hey. The thieves are running away. Go after them.
That was a long pause. The students seem to be unharmed. And who's this? You're here, Earl. You're welcome. <laughs> uh, why him? Stage complete. A skirmish shut down. At least none of us died, right? I'm the MVP. <laughs> Captain Gerald? It is you! Goodness, it's been ages! Oh my god, is that... You, is your shoulder really heavy? Don't you recognize me? It's Eloise! Eloise. Your old right-hand man! Well, that's how I always thought of myself anyway. Oh, it must have been 20 years ago that you went missing without a trace. I always knew you were still alive. Missing? You haven't changed a bit, Eloise. Just as loud as ever. And drop that captain nonsense. I'm not your captain anymore. These days, I'm just a wandering mercenary. One who has work to do. Uh, goodbye, old friend. <laughs> goodbye already. Right. Goodbye, Captain. Wait, that isn't how this ends. I insist that you return to the monastery with me. What is that detail on his neck? What kind of reflective thing is that? Garrig Mock Monastery. Uh. What is going uh, it's supposed to be reflective. I suppose this was inevitable. Gerg Mock Monastery? And how about you, kid? Are you the captain's child? What? Do we look similar? <laughs> I'm a bandit. That is correct. He's a stranger to me. I'm a bandit. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Oh, Great sense of humor, that this one. Thing? Clearly cut from the same cloth as the captain. I'd love for you to see the monastery too. You will join me, won't you? Yeah. Sure. <sighs> Sorry, Gerald. I want to go see you, Captain. You aren't about to run off again, are you? Even I wouldn't dare run from the Knights of Saros. All right. Knights of Saros. They do seem rather skilled. The hell? Now you're talking to me in my brains. Ah, it seems your presence is required. Get going. No, what if I'm trying to love Dimitri? She's in my brain. She can see my. She can read my inner thoughts. I appreciate oh, your shit, help back there. <laughs> your skill is beyond question. Thank you. You're clearly an experienced mercenary. Oh, stop. And your father, that would be Gerald. What? The blade breaker? That's my father? No way. Former captain of the Knights of Saros, oft praised as the strongest knight to ever live. Have I missed anything? That's really my dad. I'm in denial. I didn't know he was a captain. The Knights of Saros. You haven't heard of the Knights of Saros? Nope. The most famous order of knights in all of Fodlan. Nope, I've just been in deep slumber. Hey, you are coming with us to the monastery, right? <laughs> of course you are. I'd love to bend your ear as we travel. <laughs> Wait. I was gonna... <laughs> I thought that sentence was going to go somewhere completely different, but this is Nintendo. <laughs> they won't say such... Sorry. Bend my ear as we travel. I've never heard of that term. Oh, I should mention that the three of us are students of the Officers Academy at Garrig Mock Monastery. We were doing some training exercises when those bandits attacked. I definitely got the worst of it. Are you okay? That would be because you ran off. Oh. Too true. I was the first to make a strategic retreat. <laughs> everything would have worked out if these two hadn't followed me and ruined everything. What do you mean? Because of them, every single one of those bandits chased after us. Utterly ridiculous. I mean, technically, yeah, there's like three people running away from a crime scene compared to one person running away, so they're gonna find that suspicious and follow. Ah, so that's what you were thinking, Claude. And here I thought you were acting as a decoy for the sake of us all. His intentions were as clear as day. You will prove a lacking ruler if you cannot see the truth behind a person's words. <laughs> you will prove a lacking ruler yourself if you look for deceit behind every word and fail to trust those whom you rely on. <laughs> oh, joy. A royal debate between their highnesses. I wonder how being completely predictable affects one's ability to wield power. Personally, as the embodiment of distrust, I'd say your little exchange smacks of naivete. Naivety? Me. Naive. Tell me, are you actually incapable of keeping quiet? Or is your lack of self-awareness a condition of some sort? Okay, let's not fight. In any case, forgive our digression. 
I must speak with you if you can spare so a moment. Oh, of course, anything for you, Dimitri. <laughs> the way you held your ground against the bandit's leader oh, was stop. captivating. Um, I could have died. You never lost control not of the credit. situation. It showed me I still have much to learn. Uh uh. I'm not taking credit. Forgot her name. Starts with an S, though. I know that. She helped me. I'm not taking credit. Your skill is precisely why I must ask you to consider lending your services to the Empire. Your Empire? No. I might as well tell you now. I am no mere student. I am also the Adrestian Empire's... Halt, Edelgard. Please allow me to finish my own proposition. Ooh! The Holy Kingdom of Fargus is in dire need of exceptional individuals like yourself. Don't worry, Dimitri. I was gonna go with you anyway. If you guys didn't already could guess, I was gonna go for Dimitri. Please. Please. Do consider returning to the kingdom with me. Oh! Whoa there, you two sure are hasty. Trying to recruit someone you just met. <laughs> Tactless, really. I was personally planning to develop a deep and lasting friendship on our journey back to the monastery before begging for favors. His way's more uh, correct in my eyes. Be friends first and then offer. But it seems there's no time for niceties in this world. So, capable stranger, let's get right to it. Where does your allegiance lie? To be honest, hmm. it seems one's place of birth is quite so, significant so, to them. Sophis. Yet they are so impressed by you that you may take your pick. Well, to be honest, at the very beginning when I first heard about this game, I was very intrigued with Dimitri because he fits all my criteria. Um, but once like they started releasing the trailers of each uh, houses, Claude really stole my heart. But I'm still gonna stick with Dimitri because I love him and I love all the people in that house. Oh shit. What was his thing? <laughs> Noble Knights, right? Holy Kingdom of. It has to be this, right? Because this one's uh, Elder. I keep calling her Edge Rulers, so I'm forgetting her real name. Elder Guard? And that's one. Is Claude, right? It has to be this one. Land of Noble Knights, Holy Kingdom of Fargus. Oh my god, can I save? Okay. Just in case. Because I'm very well known to um, pick the wrong choices. So. Part one. Wait! Why? I didn't pick my house yet. Sir! Wait, I didn't pick my house yet! What just happened? What just happened? <laughs> As they celebrate the dawn, I didn't pick my house the yet. Pray that they may Did I just skip everything? Wait. Just Stop. <laughs> what just happened? I don't know what just happened. All right, I got it back. I got it back. It's this one, Holy Kingdom of Fargus. Fargus. Simi. Understood. Fargus is a noble and distinguished kingdom that has always valued chivalry. Oh, sorry, you're gonna be really kind to me, even though you hate fragile things. I'm very fragile, Dimitri. <laughs> All right, that's enough with the small talk. It's time to head back to the monastery. Looks like we'll have to pick this up another time. My, my, they are in such a hurry. You know, each of the three is most unique. I don't know why me saving the game led it to just quickly jump to chapter one. I have no idea what I did doing that. Dimitri. He seems quite sincere, but I sense darkness lurking beneath. Oh, duh, that's what I'm into. Um, Cloud? His smile is striking, but that smile doesn't reach his eyes, which he is also a bay. Elder Guard, she is a refined young woman, but I feel as though she is also always evaluating me, which is very intimidating. Yes, I thought the same. I am so sleepy once again. Oh, I may be sleeping, but I... Even though she's physically not yawning and I can't see her physically yawn, just hearing her yawn makes me want to yawn. Okay. 